so after the new year now, we can't fish off the boat for rockfish and link pod, so we're restricted to shore. So I'm going to show us today how to fish off the breakwater right here. Uh, a lot of perch, a lot of rockfish, occasional link pod if you know what you're doing. We're going to be fishing the breakwater high-low setup that we got right over here on the wall for sale. It's simple, it's okay. um, I took off the bottom hook today just for simplicity and ease of use while I'm filming. But uh, so we're just going to be using one top hook. A double hook rig is the way to go. You want the sinker on the bottom because there's a lot of snags out there and that keeps the weight out of the, the rocky snags and whatnot. We're using small hooks, about a size, well, this is going to be a size six, and on the bottom hook, it's normally a size four. You can use up to like a size two, I would say. Um, the bait holders work best just because you want to keep the bait on the hook with those barbs on the back. And we're going to be fishing with squid, uh, not squid, sorry, shrimp today. Shrimp is the, the smelliest for what we're using out here, it's one of the better baits. If you can find blood worms, that'd be the only thing better, but uh, shrimp is going to be our go-to. And so we're going to see if we can catch anything. <laughs> Frog door! Asshole. I'm going to pitch it out there if I can, we'll see if I can get it. A little close in, we'll see if I can get some bites. You want to use a light sinker if the swell's down, like it is today. I'm, I'm using half of a one ounce, I cut it in half. Oh, nice perch you got. But um, maybe like a half, quarter, all the way up to uh, two ounces if it's a really big, heavy day, but today it's not, so we don't need it. You're just gonna let it sit as softly as you can. You just wanna barely feel it. Move it every now and then. Cast back out. I didn't like how close it came. Nice baby blue. This is the primary fish you're going to catch out here. Lots of schooling blues. But you know what's nice with all these schooling little ones like this? This is great forage for the lingcod. So we have a very healthy population of lingcod, especially because we don't have any spear fishermen. This is one of the few places close that you can catch lingcod on a regular basis. You just have to know the keys and tricks to catching them, which we'll cover later in a different video. A lot of perch. So, you want to fish between the rocks and the kelp, as close to the kelp as you can. I can see a little pocket right there, so I'm going to really try to... It's pretty typical size, I'd say. So the fish here are really pressured. They get a lot, a lot of people trying to catch them. So you just want to take it a step above, make it more realistic, make it smaller, make it thinner, that the fish aren't seeing it, aren't, or it's not, you know, what they're seeing from every day, every, every catch, not using those two-aught, three-aught hooks that we're used to using for rockfish. So the fish here, they may be that big, and you may still need a hook that big for some of the fish, but you can catch a fish on a small hook. They're just, it's going to look smaller in the bait, you're not going to see the hook as much. My boy blue. Even though it still looks good and whatnot, you want to get that fresh scent on there. It washes off as it's out there in the surf for a while. You can catch fish on old bait. It's true. At the end of the day, fresh in your bait and whatnot, but when you have plenty of it, 
Or if you have fresh bait, you definitely want to up your chances and always keep a fresh piece out there. You catch better with fresh bait. It's a pretty known fact, I feel like. Live bait's always the next best thing to fresh bait. Or, well, no, I should take that back. Live bait's the best, then fresh bait. Oh, we're fat. We're fucking fat. What kind of fish is that, Ted? It's a little juvenile schooling blue. Think you can catch more than Daniel? I don't know, that's a tough challenge. So today, today we're out here, day two on breakwater. Just catching a couple more fish, a couple of fish for fish tacos tonight. And uh, today I switched it up a little bit using a little lighter line. Got 15 pounds single dropper with a number six. And uh, let's see what we can do here today. Just finished up tying up. Not does not look the best on the sinker, but that's okay. Probably gonna lose it. I suspected was hitting me so many times down there these low guys just swarms and swarms of them hopefully they get scared away by the link had what is this hey painted greenling he's one of my favorites one of the most gorgeous little fish really really awesome these guys are notorious little bait thieves really hard to hook they got a tiny little mouth on them Absolutely gorgeous, stunning fish though. No idea if they taste any good. Somebody should try and let me know. All right, well, the fishing is hot out here. See you guys later. See you in the bait shop. On the next doing shit with Daniel, Point Lopez Link Hud.